back to my channel, Southern Yankee Beauty. Shoot, I forgot my um, microphone, hold on. There we are, friends. If you guys know of a good, um, if any of you guys do YouTube or you know of a very good like wireless microphone that you use or like, please, please let me know because this one has to be plugged into my phone. So it's typically okay for this channel because I'm usually sitting and showing things to you. But my other channel, Southern Yankee, I'm up and trying clothes on and moving around and vlogging and I could use a wireless one. So please let me know if you know a good one. Also one that's not super expensive. All right, so welcome to my channel. My name is Terry. if you are new here and this is this plus the place to be if you love beauty if you like new releases if you like eyeshadow those are my faves uh, but today we're doing a really fun video today's video we have a new holiday release from hourglass I picked up the hourglass ambient light palette this is the one with the tigers on it or leopard leopard palette um, and honestly, out of all of the ones, this only has one new shade in it, but I'm kind of a fairly new collector to Hourglass, so while I do have a couple of these shades, most of them were new for me. I think four are new for me, two are repeats, and I think they're like powders, so I didn't really care about that. Um, and I love tigers, leopards, lions, any kind of cats. You guys know that we have five kitties in this home. I wanted this palette. So um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to introduce you to Hourglass. If you're new to Hourglass, if you've never tried their powders, you don't know anything about them or their special technology they use, I'm going to give you a little bit of information. I've got two little videos to showcase too uh, that I'll be showing you from the Hourglass website. We are then going to go back in time and look at the last two years collections of what I purchased. I have the last two years of the um, ambient lighting palettes that we'll look at. We'll do swatches with them. We'll open this beautiful baby up and we'll do swatches of these as well. And then we are going to head into the other room and we are going to try everything on. There are three blushes in here. So I'm going to try to use all of them for you. There's a bronzer, a highlight and some um, and powder. And we are going to show you the beautiful finished face, although the cheeks may be a little different because of the blushes, but we're going to have fun and you'll get to see what this looks like in action. And hopefully that that helps you make your decision and then I have some of the other palettes that have some repeat shades we're gonna do swatches with so I think that'll help you make your decision on which ambient lighting palette is right for you stay tuned it's coming. okay guys so let's start talking about the palettes that you can get so as you know I have the leopard palette there is also a jellyfish palette and there is a snake palette and there is a owl palette um, now the the snake the leopard and the jellyfish palette are the three main ones if you like the hourglass um, owl palette that you can only get on the hourglass website all of these are limited edition uh, the owl one's really cool and you the nice thing about this is like say you like this palette but you want different powders you can pick what you want you can customize which palette you got I did not do that so the one that I have is just the leopard palette with what would normally come in the leopard palette but if you want the leopard palette but the light edit or the medium or the dark you can customize and get which palette inside you want now you can't be like oh I want this powder from this one and that powder from that nope the pellets are pre custom made and you can pick which case you want so I love that um, a couple things to know about these pellets they do retail for $90 I did get a free gift with my purchase I got a I don't know if this is still available but it's a translucent um, setting power um, <clears throat> called veil and um, maybe we'll use that today as well I do see on the website that they do have, if you order over $150, they have like a free deluxe sample um, stuff that they're gonna be sending. So you guys can take a look at that, um, it, especially if you're gonna order more than one of these because they're, they're 90 bucks. If you order two, you're getting $180. You'll get that free gift as well. Um, and they have light, medium, and dark kind of in here. I think that there's been a complaint for years for Hourglass to come up with deeper shades. They are doing that. Um, I, I'm very tempted to get the darkest one too because I believe all those blushes would work for me. Um, there might just be, I think the highlight or the powder might be a little dark for me to use, but I can certainly use a highlight for like inner corner and stuff on my eyes. Um, but the powder may not be usable for my skin tone or maybe in the summer, I don't know. Um, so I want to share a little bit of some details about what 
is not in are not in these palettes okay so i wrote this down all right first of all they are vegan and cruelty free so if you are looking for which is important to me i mean i've got animals i don't i don't think that any brands anymore need to be testing makeup on animals and this day and age there's just no reason for it you'd be surprised how many brands do test on animals still and they torture these animals and it really bothers me um, i don't know all the brands that do that but i would prefer to buy stuff that is cruelty free. Do I always know? I don't always. I don't always know. And I sometimes I just see something and I want it and I don't check. So my bad on that. But um, so what I wanted to tell you is what it doesn't come with. Well, first of all, let me show you the ones from the previous years really quickly. So they don't use plastic. Uh, this was the first one that I bought, and then this was the one I bought last year's. And there's a cute little video with this one I'm going to show you too, and how they created this one as a story. Um, I've used both of these so, so, so much. They're like complete face palettes. They don't use plastic, so all of them do come in 100% tin, and I love the tins. Also, they're mine are a little magnetic right here on the front, like right there. I don't know if you can see that. So they kind of can stack nicely on each other and not like fall all over the place. So, um, so, but these are formulated without, and I'm gonna go quick here, without alcohol, without gluten, without parabens, without phalafolates, sulfates, talc, BHA and BHT, without silicone 5D, without GMO, without triclosan, and without mineral oil. Again, cruelty and vegan free. So um, no bad stuff in here for your skin. And they have a very neat um, technology that they use in these powders that's different than any of the powders that are on the market out there. And that is why one of the reasons why I love Hourglass. Um, it's just one of the reasons. I'm going to tell you another reason in a minute. Not to even mention the fact that these powders work incredibly. But that's because of this new technology. So they have something called, hopefully I'm going to say this right, photoluminescent technology, micron-sized color-correcting particles that capture and diffuse and soften the surrounding light to refine the skin's appearance. All are hand-mixed to create the perfect blend of pigment and light to provide a natural flush and radiant glow. These powders are literally designed to soften your skin so that the light reflects in natural highlight areas, soften your skin so you're not seeing a lot of pores and you're not seeing a lot of wrinkles and your skin has a beautiful, healthy, lit from within glow. That is what we all want and as we age, 100%. If I am going out of the house and I need my makeup to a last and look dynamic, I'm grabbing for one of these palettes. If I'm going on a trip, I'm taking one of these palettes in fact, I am going on a trip and I'm probably going to take this new one with me. So um, these are so great. So yeah, the cost is $90. That's a lot. But you're getting six different powders in a complete set. And if you divide those six powders into the $90, it works out to just $15 a powder. When you think about it that way, I mean, let me show you my oldest one. This one, I my cat <laughs> knocked off the table and it broke a little bit. Um, one of the powders broke and I've had to be set, like sticking it back in here, but it still works. This one was, um, oh, look at all that stuff blowing in the, can you see all the, I just blew it. <laughs> anyway, um, this one only has um, five powders in it because they made this big one here for your, like the face powder here. So we've got two blushes here. We've got, um, a highlighter a bronzer and then like the finishing powder here so I've used the heck out of this and you can kind of see these this is two years old now so I mean I do have a like I like uh, clearly I like this I've got an indent here on the highlight um, I've really used this up I'll, even though this has come out um, and fallen out I've used that a lot and I've used these blushes you really can't see the indents but there are a slight indent on on uh, all of these here. The one you can probably see is that one there. Um, this is two years old. This has been used so much. And so when you think about, okay, like $10, $15, a powder here, and I still can use these and they still look as beautiful on me today as they did two years ago, 
to me, this is worth it because it's something I'm going to use over and over and over again. By the way, this is the packaging for the one for two years ago. Okay. Then the one that I got last year was um, elephants. I love elephants. Elephants are so smart. And did you know they mourn their dead and they go back to where their dead are buried every single year and they like kneel down and they, they, they remember they have excellent memories. Uh, Elephants, I, I just, I've read a lot about them. If you're ever curious, oh my gosh, there's some great books on elephants. You need to look it up. But I'm gonna show you this one and then I'm gonna quickly show you a quick video about the creation of this one because it's just a neat story and I wanted to share it. So this is the Ambient Lighting um, Edit Palette Unlocked in the Elephant. Um, this one does have six different shades. I have been, if you watch my vlogs at all on the Southern Yankee um, one, I have been wearing this in almost every single video. So if you wanna see like what a full face of this, just go log on to one of my videos at Southern Yankee and you'll see me talking in the car in the morning when I've just done my makeup and you'll see my skin and how beautiful it looks. It's from this. I've been using this every day. I used it a ton when I got it. These, This is last year and you really can't even see much of an indent and I use all of these powders so usually I'll mix these together sometimes I want more coral sometimes I want more pink so sometimes I use them separately we have the highlight we have the bronzer and then these two finishing powders one's more shiny than the other one's more like a setting powder and one's more finishing powder a lot of times I just mix those together and it really softens my skin now I have aging more mature skin and I am so happy with how this looked. In fact, I had this on today, but then I just cleaned my face off and put some foundation on so that we could get into this. I also wanted to show you, did I bring it out here? I don't know if I did. I have the LYS foundation on and um, I, it, I haven't used it in a while. It's a beautiful match to my skin tone. Um, I'm gonna link that for you as well. A lot of people love this foundation. In fact, let me grab it and I'll okay, show you. Okay guys, so um, never fails whenever I wear a new foundation. One of you guys asked me what foundation I'm wearing, what color. Um, if you have the same color skin tone as me, so this is what I'm wearing. This is in the shade LN6, which is probably like a light neutral um, six, whatever that is. And it is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation with HA Turmeric, which is good for inflammation. So if you've got, um, if your skin gets red and irritated, turmeric will help get rid of any redness and irritation. And then it's got Ashwagandha. I don't know what that's good for, but um, very interesting. This is also vegan and cruelty free. They're PETA approved. And what does that say? Gluten free. So this is a great brand. I think this is a black owned brand too, but I, and I think I've told the story on my other channel, but when I first used this, I didn't like it. I was having trouble with it, like lasting on my skin. I loved everything in it, but it, and it was beautiful on pound application. You can see what a gorgeous, gorgeous finish this has, but um, it wasn't lasting. And um, I reviewed it and I put that in my review. And one of the ladies that owned the company reached out to me via email, took the time to give me some different ways to apply it and set it so that it would last better and I will first of all I love a lot of LYS's um, products I have their blushes I have their cream blushes I have a couple things from them it, they're, it's a great brand if you haven't checked it out um, but I was so impressed that she took the time because I you know they didn't take down my review they didn't take it down because it wasn't super positive but she reached out and shared with me like make sure you're shaking it make sure you set it with a powder um, all those things and it really helped make the la the lasting power of this better and um, so anyway this will be linked below but I wanted you to know again LN6 is my shade in case you're similar all right let's take just a quick minute I want to show you the video for the um, elephant palette um, the elephant is named happy so watch this and enjoy and then we'll be back we're gonna get into these guys I do have a video kind of showing you um, off hourglass the three different palettes and their shades as well so Stay tuned, here comes the inspired elephant. Inspired by a real elephant named Happy. Happy is incredibly intelligent and self-aware, but has been held captive at the Bronx Zoo for decades. In 2022, she became the first animal to seek legal personhood from the Court of Appeals, a historic milestone for animal rights. As a cruelty-free brand, we wanted to pay homage to Happy and celebrate these extraordinary beings. That's why 5% of profits from our unlocked collection 
will be donated to the Non-Human Rights Project to help animals like Happy find freedom. Wasn't that so cute? All right, so now that you've had a chance to look at that, um, I want to just show you the unveiling of the three palettes in this video from them next. Okay, friends, so now you've seen the different palettes, the leopard, the jellyfish, and the snake, and of course the owl. Um, let's get into this and let's take our first peek at this. Um, this has a 12 month shelf life, but that's totally up to you, friends, because my powders are clean. They've been on my face only, and I'm still wearing the one from two years ago, the one from last year. It lasts more than 12 months and these powders are Fabulous, just fabulous. Um, so let's get in. So it did come really nicely packaged, um, and then it's got a little box, a little outer box thing here. Um, directions for use if you need it, and then here we go. So you can see I've got it's got the little thing on here, which this will be fingerprinted up like my other one in no time at all. So here's what. Isn't that cute with the black leopards? Oh, I love the kitties so, so much. So I love that you can pick the one that speaks to you more. Um, oh, this is my first look at it. Oh. It just feels and looks so beautiful and luxurious, and it is. I'm so excited about this. This has three blushes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a powder. Here we are. So you've got more of a plummy tone here. You've got your highlighter, your powder, your bronzer, right? Bronzer, powder, highlight, blush, you, and then you've got two different blushes right here, okay? There is one new blush. Um, mm -mm, I have that, which one that is? Hold on, and I'll tell you. All right, new ethereal flush soft peach so this one right here i believe let me just double check that five yes this is the new blush right here but i'm super excited about these as well so um all right so that we're going to get into this in a minute but let's go ahead and swatch the old ones first so let's start with the oldest palette that we have i'm going to do swatches side by side and then we'll do the new ones next to it as well all right, so let's start with the new one. Um, I'm gonna try my best to show you shades. Powders don't show up really well, so just do your best to be patient. But this is uh, the Infinity Powder on the first swatch. So it's just a beige, like a natural beige shade. You can't really see it. And then we have Strobe Blush Vibrant Heat coming up next. Okay. That's got a nice little glow to it. You can kind of already see that. Then the next blush in here is Luminous Rose. So this one's darker. There you go. And then we have the bronzer, and this bronzer is called um, Glistening Bronze Light. Right here. These can be used on the eyes as well. And then the highlight in here is one of my favorites, and this one, and this is the one with the dent in it. This is the Super, super Natural Strobe Light. And so what they did is they take their best sellers and then they also try to add some new ones. But 
like one of the new palettes has all new shades i believe or five new shades and one repeat and then one has three new shades and three repeats of bestsellers the one i got actually has five repeats and one best and one brand new shade but I didn't have a lot of them, so it, for me it was okay. I may I may still get a, one of the other ones as well, but this is the highlight, and this is one of my favorite highlights. This highlight oh, it doesn't look as beautiful on my hand right there, but it is absolutely gorgeous on the face. So that is one of the older palettes. Now let's go into the Elephant palette with Mr. Happy here and we'll start with the two powders so uh, the first powder is the dim light and the second powder is the soft light all right dim and soft so i don't know how well these are going to show again dim and soft but they're not supposed to really show right i mean they're supposed to be powders and they're supposed to be your skin tone so they are doing what they're to do now this is another highlight that I've been using and I've gotten a ton of compliments by the way because I've been wearing this for weeks and I've been to parties and I've gotten so many compliments on my highlight and what highlighter is that your skin looks great it is this one it is the beaming strobe light it looks really dark kind of in the pan but it isn't that dark on the skin if you're super fair it might be because this is probably the medium one make sure I don't go over those powders Okay, so here is the highlight. And again, I know it kind of looks dark, but it really isn't that dark on the skin. Um, maybe I can find a photo and stick it up in the corner here of me wearing it. I'm sure I have one. In fact, I have one from a birthday party. It's a picture of me and my man. I'll stick it up here because you can really see the glow on my face. I had just done my makeup and I am wearing this entire palette in, that, in this photo. So. There you go, that will show you a little bit. All right, so the bronzer in this one is Lustrous Bronze Light. There we go. Okay, so this is like a little bit more orangey. This is more neutral. I probably like this bronzer better than this one, but they both work and they both blend and they're both beautiful. And then we have the two different um, blushes in here. So the two blushes here are uh, Iridescent Coral and Radiant Rose. So here is the Iridescent Coral. Still leans pink, Let me, and this is the rose. You can see the difference there. This one still kind of looks pink, but definitely is, you know, it has like a coral base. I'm swatching these pretty heavy because, you know, powders on your face, they don't, they don't swatch well. And then this is the rose. And they look beautiful together. And you can see like this one's cool toned and this is more warmer. So um, they do have a little bit of a different finish. So there are the two palettes that I have. And now, we are getting ready to get into our new leopard. Let me just clean my fingers off. What I'll do is I'll do the leopard swatches on this hand. That way we can hold them side by side. All right. So little Miss Leopard. All right. So the, um, let's start with, well, we'll just start at the top with the, the strobe light. Um, this is the ambient lighting powder dim light this is a repeat and this is a natural beige right here oh, oh i did it with the wrong finger i told you i was going to do it on this side okay try it again this is a natural beige um i think this is the medium one i don't think this is the lightest i think what i got is the medium one this definitely has some shimmer in it i don't know how well you're going to see that but it does have some shimmer in it then the highlight in this one is an uh, ambient metallic strobe lighting powder in pale gold or colors pale gold and it's the celestial celestial strobe light oh that's gorgeous so that's one of like like almost kind of like a metallic-y one, really pretty. Then we have a um, the blush next. This is Ambient Lighting Blush Mood Exposure is the color, and it is described as a soft plum. And I'm excited about that. Oh, that's really soft. Let's see if we can darken this up a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna get you a better swatch, so I want you to be able to see it. 
That's going to be very pretty though for the fall because you know the berries and the burgundies are always so fun um, and it'll build up really pretty on the skin. But look at how soft looking that is. Really beautiful. All right, next one is a repeat. All these are repeats so far. Uh, the next one is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. The Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in Iridescent Rose, and it is described as a warm rose. This has some pack to it, some punch to it. That's my dog, by the way. He snorts. He's a bulldog. That's got some, you're going to be able to build that up pretty dark. So you have a very beautiful feminine soft one. You have one, one more with a punch here. So plum, rose, and then this next one is new. This is the Ambient Light Blush in Ethereal Flush, and this is described as a soft peach. Here it is on my finger. Let's put it right here instead of on my bone. Again, this one is another one that packs quite a punch. So you can maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll put one of these on each cheek, but then maybe we'll start with all this all over one cheek and add one of these to like the back area. And then maybe we'll do that with both of the two different blushes so you can see the complete look. Um, all right, so now we have the bronzer. This is a darker bronzer. This is the ambient lighting bronzer in lustrous bronze light called Bronze Heat. And there we go, my friends. So very pretty. That Those are all the blushes and the highlights and everything that I have. I'm actually really excited about this, this highlight right here because I can just see that glow on it. Um, and it is much lighter than that one there that I had. Um, much, much lighter than that one. What was that? I think the cat's making a toy go off over there. All right, so are we ready to get in and try this on? Hang tight, guys. It's coming right up. Okay, friends, we are having some weird stuff happen in this house today. I think I'm going to talk about it on a vlog, but um, I have been, if you guys don't know, I've got some kind of psychic ability, something that I've been trying to strengthen and work with. I've had it since I was, well, I can remember it since I was three. Um, and uh, if you're on my main channel, you may know more about this, but um, yeah, we had a situation with the candle the other day. We've heard voices in the house. Well, I have, Robert can't hear any of it. Um, there's been a lot of activity going on, uh, not, not negative, negative spirits or anything I think um, but it, it's been funny and just a minute ago when we were filming I heard this like noise and it may have been the cat might have stepped on a toy that was talking but it was like I couldn't I'm gonna have to listen back we might hear it I don't know if it picked it up with the microphone so anyway we're gonna start with this blush here this really soft blush um, actually I want to use I'm going to put this all over, but then I'm going to probably like maybe like concentrate it up here and then back here, put the darker blushes and I'll put one on each so you can see. But let's go into this blush first. And uh, this is the Mood Exposure Blush. OK, so this is a very light blush. Let's see if we can put this on the like the part of our cheek here that's like the big part of our cheek. Um, now you can put these on any way you want to, but they build really, really nice. Look at how pretty that is. It's just really easy to use and you can keep layering it and it doesn't even really matter like how much you put on. It never looks cakey. Let me bring you guys in even closer. It never looks cakey or like gets to be too much. I got something on my nose. That's pretty. So let's just do the whole thing so you can see it if you just use this alone. Because the other ones are so much darker, they're going to make much more of an impact. But sometimes you just want like that no makeup makeup look, and you just want a really pretty soft feminine flush, and that's what you're going to get with this shade. Oh, I like this shade a lot, guys. There are days where I don't want something crazy. I just want a really soft look like this. 
Um, it depends really on my mood, right? Oh, and now you can see the, look, you can see the swatches maybe a little bit better. This is a little orangey too. I think still my favorite of the bronzers would be this more neutral one from two years ago. So there, there's from a distance. Beautiful, beautiful blush. All right, now let's go into this blush here. Uh, this one is the Iridescent Rose. I'm going to focus that one back here because this one's gonna have, this one packs more of a punch. Let's see, it's on there. It's gonna deepen it quite a bit. Yeah. leaving that softness up here and just sort of, and this has a glow to it. I don't know if you can see, but all of this has that technology. So even if you don't put any highlight and you just go in with the powder or the blush, you still get a beautiful natural flush that looks absolutely stunning with or without highlight. Like you can see it just sort of glows. So ignore that, that's like they're permanent. It's like a permanent mark on my face forever and ever and ever. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. I'm gonna darken it just a bit, just because I really wanna show you the powders. Um, I won't, wouldn't go out with it, probably, maybe I would, I don't know. I wouldn't normally go out with it that dark, but I want you to be able to see the difference, so we're gonna really heavy it up here. Okay, so now we've got one more to do, and that is going to be the New shade right here. Uh, this one is the Ethereal Flush Blush, and that's the more corally peachy one. And I kind of like that they give you multiple blushes. You can mix them. They show in the video they're mixing them. So again, we're gonna focus this one like up in here. And I like to bring it up to my temple a little bit. And they blend so nicely, like you don't even, like if you make a mistake, you know how like sometimes you see me with the blush, after I do blush, I always take my blender and kind of go around the edges. When I use the hourglass blushes, I don't really need to do that. I do it kind of out of habit now, but I don't need to do it because their blushes are just so nice. So this one's more warm and this one is a little cooler, but can you see much of a difference on the skin? Because I feel like, on the skin, they kind of look a little bit the same. What I would say that is different, let me change back to this again, is that this one is a more flatter, um, like it doesn't have as much of a glow. It definitely does look more peach. This one has more shimmer in it. It's got like a very slight little bit of shimmer. This one doesn't. So like I feel like the finishes are different and I am going to go back in here. I forgot to put the bronzer on but we're going to do that. Um, the finishes are different on it. So like do I think if I went out and um, people would know I was wearing two different ones? No. If I just went out like this? I don't think so. Um, however, you know the this one has a shine and this one's a little bit flatter, but still gorgeous, still gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Let me find a bronzer brush and we'll go ahead and we'll bronze and we'll get all glowy and then we'll... Okay, her this is the Lustrous Bronze Light. I'm gonna start up here so you can see. You can see one side with and one side without. So definitely warms up the skin. And because this is the medium um, and I have a light one, I would take my blender afterwards and just kind of go over there so you don't have lines because with the, the shade tone on my skin, I definitely am going to have to do that. So we'll do that in a second. Let's run that down on the side of our nose a little bit. All right, and we're gonna go up in here. Typically you would do your bronzer first before blush. I just got carried away and forgot. All right, and then let's do under our chin. So you can really see under there, it's definitely darker. Get rid of any double chins. 
we might have or triple or quadruple dimensions, whatever you're dealing with. If you do that, it kind of gives you a more sculpted, sculpted look. You can also go down here if you want. I typically don't want to draw attention here because my neck is not like, it's like a little loosey goosey. I'm actually going to have to have surgery because I have um, like a lymph node or something in there that, I don't know, he said, he, he said it's fine and I could live the rest of my life with it and be fine, but it makes me nervous. All right, so now, friends, now, 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 I'm ready for highlight, and this is what I'm so excited about, but I gotta find my highlight brush that I wanna use, um, but this highlight looked stunning, so let's try this out next. All right, this is the Celestial Strobe Light. So gorgeous. Are we ready? Let's bring you in. Oh, oh, oh I knew it. I knew it was gonna be stunning, and it is. Yes, friends. Oh, I just love their powder so much. I don't normally get excited about um, face pal like fa face palettes. The only ones I really love, love, and do get excited about are these ones. These are the ones that make me happy. And then you can go up in here, but a little bit everywhere, you know, whatever you want to do here. A little bit on the chin. If you have a John Travolta chin like me, I just um, read, um, I was doing some stuff about like palm work and like being able to read your palms and stuff. Anyway, they were talking about that and they said, if you have one of these dimples on your chin, it is considered extremely lucky. So. Raise your hand if you have a dimple on your chin like I do. I'd love to know in the comments below, my lucky friends, or put a little clover or something, like a four leaf clover. So, but this is fun and beautiful. Now, we've got to finish our face. So let's get a brush for our face. Uh, finishing blush brush. What is this? This is probably a good one. Yeah, I don't think I've used this one too much. So let's, we're gonna just swirl the finishing powder all in. I'm trying to stay out of the other ones because I got such a big brush here. And we're gonna go on the forehead and finish it off. And this really just pulls the look together. This is where, you know, you're setting it and it's gonna stay for the day. and you end up just having really nice skin. You can see how soft this is making the skin look, this powder. It's like the powder just softened the whole face. And you can go back if you want and you can add you know, more blush or highlight if you feel like you covered too much of it up. But overall, my goodness, let's get up close and personal. So I have pores, I'm human, right? But when you guys have seen me up close before, my pores have been significantly looking bigger than this. So um, this really, really helps tone all of it down. And the, over, the overall look of the skin is just vibrant, healthy, and it looks like my skin's glowing. When you get older, we lose glow, we lose pigment in your skin. Um, which is why we have to wear blush, you know, because we lose pigment. And they recommend as you get older, you actually lighten your hair because you do lose pigment in your skin. So if you have darker hair, you can really look pale and deathly and not have any. You could fix that with makeup, but another trick is to just lighten up your hair a little bit and it brings more vibrancy. But with these powders, I feel like I can go back and rewind five or six years, you know, because they're just that good. Really, really beautiful, friends really beautiful. So that is my review on the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Holiday Palettes for 2023. I'm very curious to know if you picked these up um, or any of these up or if you plan to. Um, I'm going to have it linked below if I can find. I got mine for like 10 or 15% off and I'll see if I can find the code that I use. I don't know if that code is still available, friends. If not, I did see if you're a new user to um, Hourglass and you you go to their website and you sign up, you, like a box pops up, pops up you get 10% off. So if you're a new user, you can get 10% off of there. Um, and some of the other sites like Alton and stuff are having sales where you may have a coupon that you can use to get it. Um, I, I know it's at Sephora, I, I'm not sure, but I think it might also be at Alta. Anyway, I'll see what I can find. I'll have it linked below. I'll also link below the, um, the LYS foundation that I showed you because that's gorgeous too and it's got good stuff in it for your skin and 
But yes, I love how pretty this looks. And yeah, I don't think you can really tell that I'm wearing two different blush shades between the two of them. Um, like I said, the only big difference was the one had more sheen to me, but, and, and they do look different in the palette. I mean, they look very different in the palette, right? But on the skin, not so much. So this one just had uh, more of a sheen than this new one. So just depending on the look, but this alone, this, I liked that soft look when we just had that on the skin in the beginning um, with that plum shade. I wasn't sure how that was gonna look on my skin, but I thought that was so, so soft and feminine and so pretty. So I'm super glad to have it and you can mix and match these together. You can use them with your other palettes. Let me know what you're picking up. I'm curious to know which, whether you want, which palette you're gonna get, like the light, medium, or dark. And then I also wanna know which artwork is your favorite artwork. If you've already picked it up and you've been using it, please give us a little testimonial of your experience and what you think about the palette. Like, make sure you tell me what palette you, you bought and then give us a little testimonial down below about what you think about that palette. Um, and if you have used it and you have looks on Instagram or whatever, don't forget to tag me or send it to me in Messenger over at Southern Yankee 15 on Instagram. So thank you guys for joining me. This was so much fun and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. You say that I'm psychotic But then you like it like that It's like every time the conversation changes And I want you right